Hi Glenn, great to see you today for our six simple questions. Can you please introduce yourself and your company and tell us what you do? Thank you, Simon. Yes, I'm Glenn Cameron from Action Coach here in Birmingham. So what we do is really threefold. Uh, so the first thing we do is provide community. Being, being in business can actually be quite lonely. And so we bring businesses together to self-improve and do better. And we do that through our second element, which is a framework, a framework for success. I always talk of terms of the analogy of a, a vehicle chassis. You know, Volkswagen used the same chassis to build a Golf as an Audi R8. So we work with people that have that imagination of what they want to do with their business and give them a framework for success. And, and the third element is that success, that people always get better results working with a coach than they will by themselves. And, and how do we do that? Well, we start with programs from as little as five pounds. We run a profit club for solopreneurs. We do a book club that's 15 pounds to cover the cost of the book. We do growth club. Uh, 25 pound just to kind of come up with a nine plan and we work to what we call action club uh, we have love for marketing sales team building customer service value builder profit plus to build an iterative five-year business plan so so all of the above is packaged up with accountability through coaching but the, the second side that we we move on to is is what i call more of a mentorship so that's people who have experience, who've built and sold their own businesses in the past and can give that uh, insight and experience to businesses, particularly those that are looking to scale up. So we work with people like Piers Linney, for example, of Dragon's Den. So if businesses are, are looking to, to leverage the experience of people who have been there and done it, um, that then we can help. So yeah, that could be the, the coaching side to get the best performance from the, the business and the individuals within that business. Uh, but it can also be uh, bringing in an outside perspective and experience, someone to, to help build and implement strategy over a multi-year period. Absolutely superb. That sounds really comprehensive range of services to help businesses, um, you know, in their in their growth life. Um, so how can your fellow business network members help you and your business? Yeah, Simon, it's an interesting question because obviously we're looking to connect with businesses that are looking to grow. But I always say to people, think in terms of there are really like three types of people in business. So there's what I would call craftspeople. Um, and they're the kind of people that are driven by a need to be known as the best in their field. So they're striving to master their, their chosen craft whatever that might be. It could be a designer, you know, electrician, you know, tradesman, uh, or, or a particular you know, manufacturing even. Um, but the second group of people are what I call freedom fighters. So they're motivated more by independence. They have a, a, a deep need to control their lives and they've chosen business ownership as, as a means of accomplishing this, frankly. Um, and the third group of people are what I call mountain climbers. So they're defined by their need to grow and to to challenge themselves. They're never satisfied where they are currently and are always striving to be better and, and they're compelled to compete and win. Now those mountain climbers are probably only 2% of people in business, but they're the people that I want to talk to. They're the people that um, read business books that want to double their business, five exit, 10 exit, because they're the people we can genuinely help to get there. Excellent, fantastic, thank you very much. Um, so as you know, uh, networking is all about getting to know you as a person. So tell us what you enjoy doing in your spare time. Spare time. Well, I've got a little boy, so um, my options seem to be uh, driven by him. So the best I can do at the moment is uh, is try try and read a book a week. Um, yeah, that's certainly something I would preach uh, as a business coach. But um, I was interested because more recently I was uh, reading Bob Iger's book on what he did with Disney. Um, taking essentially a failing animation studio at that point to, to global domination of a, a streaming platform, which in the UK was launched appropriately during lockdown. And you kind of admire, you know, Disney Plus as it is now bringing together, you know, Marvel, Star Wars, no. National Geographic, my son's shouting in the background. <laughs> so, um, no, Marvel, so, I expect, you know, we all get excited when you hear the word Marvel. These <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, it's an, I, I enjoy consuming entertainment. Fantastic. That's brilliant. So um, a couple of quick fire questions and who knows, this could be Marvel related as well. Uh, what's your favourite movie? <laughs> um, well, yeah, let's take it outside of Disney for a second. Uh, actually, for me, um, twofold reasoning for this. So the, the hangover. Um, so, so first of all, it was the second date with my now wife when we went to see it. Um, interesting choice of film. Um, but also it then 
came back round when, when my little boy was growing up because my previous business, we brought uh, taser into the UK. And I was trying to explain to my uh, toddler son at this point, you know, how a taser works. And the best thing I could think of was to get the clip from the hangover where they uh, let little kids taser people uh, to, to explain how a taser works. So yeah, yeah, great film. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an interesting, uh, interesting reason for having a favourite movie. I'd say that's a bit different. <laughs> so, uh, where's your perfect holiday destination if you could go anywhere in the world? Yeah, so I mean, I'm fortunate. I've been fortunate to travel a lot in my life, but um, actually, I always like to go back. So, we, we always go back to the Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. Interestingly enough, um, which kind of dates us back. So, when, when I first met my wife, uh, she was working for De Vere before the bank broke it up. Um, and they used to own Cameron House Hotel on the banks of Loch Lomond, five-star resort. And we went up there one January for a cheap staff rate uh, away deal. And the snow was on the ground and it was just uh, amazing. So when we uh, decided to get married, we decided to go back there. I was kind of thinking Cameron House, Cameron Wedding. What a great, you know, well, that would completely pass my wife uh, to be uh, by as, as the significance of it. But now we, we go back there every year for Hogmanay. Uh, try and go up there several times a year and it's kind of like a second home for us yeah you, it, it's still interesting it's a lovely environment to be in uh, when it's not raining which sadly it did on a wedding day but <laughs> um, but yeah no and I always like to go there yeah Scotland you know beautiful country or you know part of the UK staycations and all that that's probably the popular thing during Covid anyway isn't it so excellent so finally what words of wisdom can you offer your fellow business network members yeah, so I mean, an inspirational book for me was, was, was Jim Collins a few years ago, and he talked about good is the enemy of great. And, and, and it's that kind of, you know, I was talking about obviously earlier in this session about, you know, the kind of people that we want to work with as a business coach. And, and it's so easy in life to settle for good instead of striving to be great. And, and it does take that challenge, and it is a conscious choice and a discipline. But I think, you know, just taking that and thinking, you know, good is the enemy of great. Um, and don't, don't settle for, for what's in front of you. Aspire to something better. Brilliant. Fantastic. Really good words of advice. So that just leaves me to say thank you very much indeed, Glenn, for answering our six simple questions today. Yeah, thank you, Simon. Always a pleasure to be part of the Business Network.